Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna go over my top Trader Joe's favorite items that you need to try in 2021. Some of these items are new to the store, a lot of them are tried and true, but these are the items that if you haven't tried already, what are you waiting for? Jump right on it and make sure that you check these out the next time you are running through a Trader Joe's. So the first one we're gonna get to is a sweet treat. And if you have not tried the sea salted brownie petites, you are missing out. Sweet and salty, and they're the perfect size, the perfect bite. These are super cute to add to like a dessert tray or anything like that. But my son absolutely loves these. He's obsessed with them. Go check them out and try them at Trader Joe's. And I mean, they're not, they're not the healthiest thing, but you get three for about 250 calories. I think that's a good little snack. The next one, we're gonna go from sweets to, some, to something that's a little bit healthier, and that is the five spice chicken and Asian style salad and noodles. And I love these, I'm obsessed with them. I like the little crunch from the nuts, the peppers, just everything that's in them. And these are perfect if you are a working mom like myself, you can throw them in your lunchbox and have a good, healthy, delicious lunch on the go. And these are kid approved as well. Even with the dressing on it, my daughter will eat these and loves them. The next one is one of their frozen items, and this is kind of a tried and true item that I love so much. It is this one. If you haven't tried their masala, this is in the frozen food section. There is no meat, so if you do, if you're vegan, this is perfect for you. But I take this, you add a little bit of rice, a little bit of the bread that I'm going to show you in just a second and it makes such a delicious meal. You can always throw this into your lunch as well for work and it's just easy and quick. Next item is one of their newer items but if you are like me and you love goat cheese one and I am obsessed with sun-dried tomatoes. I could eat them plain like the little sun-dried tomatoes that you get at like a Barron's or something like that but they have the goat cheese and sun-dried tomatoes ravioli. Like, have you seen anything better? So throw this with a little bit of pasta sauce and you are in business. I am, it's so tasty, so yummy, and I know that you guys are going to love it. So if you haven't tried it, go check it out, especially if you're like me and sun-dried tomatoes are one of your favorite things. Next thing, we love a good cheese and crackers night. The kids love it too, and for the adults, we will throw in a little bit of wine, but this little tapas sampler from Trader Joe's, they have had it for a while, but it is so good. I love all of the cheeses that it, that's included. So you get 12 slices, slices, and it has the name of the different cheeses there, but all of the cheeses are good and the sampler is so good. You're gonna love it. It's making a cheese board without even thinking about it because everything is already packaged and cut and ready to go. Next item is a tried and true, and this one is their pretzel bagels. Their pretzel bagels and their pretzel bread is just so good guys. So if you haven't tried those two items, they were out of their, their little pretzel rolls when we went, but if you haven't tried those, check those out as well. But these pretzel bagels are so good, um, just the not right amount of saltiness, but they are delicious, nice, chewy, the texture's great, everything. So if you love a good pretzel, you're gonna love these pretzel bagels pink lemonade it is 
so delicious. Um, these are also good to mix up some cocktails if you're doing that as well. During Valentine's Day, we took a trip to the mountains and we made a few cocktails with their little sparkling drinks. But this one is delicious and they always have it at Trader Joe's. It's good by itself. So if you have not tried it, go check it out. The next item is a tried and true, but I just needed to include it because if you haven't gone and had the Trader Joe's extra virgin eye, olive oil you are missing out they have the best prices you get the spigot with it and the bottle you could even take off this label the bottle is cute to have out and we just love it and the spigot is a spigot that actually works well it's not junk like some of those um bottles are so and the price is so good so the trader joe's extra virgin olive oil Make sure that if you haven't grabbed this, and we use olive oil to cook all the time, you need to. Next item, so good. The orange, I know I keep saying that, but like I said, these are our favorite items. Um, the orange pe peach and mango juice, it's 100% juice. Um, my kids absolutely love it. If you want a little twist on your orange juice or anything like that, this is the trifecta that you need and your kids are gonna love it. You're gonna love it. It is just so yummy. It is a tried and true. If you haven't tried the Trader Joe's vegetable fried rice, this with their famous orange chicken, I did not include it in this video because everybody knows it's the business. You have to get on this. It takes about five minutes to cook. I actually like the vegetable one than the ones with the chicken. I just think it just tastes so good. So Trader Joe's vegetable fried rice, maybe not the healthiest thing, but it sure is good. And like I said, to go along with my masala, they have some of the best Indian flatbread. This is great for dipping with a, any of their different sauces, but especially in that masala with a little bit of rice. Such a good meal, but you guys need to try their flatbread. And you can make little flatbread bread pizzas with these. I mean, the possibilities are endless. Trader Joe's sausage. My husband loves them. I'm just gonna show you guys a few of the favorite ones. He loves the maple chicken and breath breakfast sausage and these are also great if you are not eating red meat so that one then they have this one the spicy jalapeno and then this one the sweet apple so go grab you some of the trader joe's sausages they're the best if you haven't tried them out for breakfast add them with rice so good of my absolute favorite things to get from Trader Joe's. I've been getting it for years and years and years. It is their tempura shrimp. And it comes with a dipping sauce. To be honest, I never use the dipping sauce with it. But this with some rice is such a good meal. If you guys can't tell, I love rice. But... And my kids are meatloaf lovers but if you are trying to stay away from red meat or do a little bit less of less of it trader joe's has a fantastic turkey meatloaf that's already prepared so the cooking instructions you can even do it in the microwave or throw it in a conventional oven it's a quick and easy meal throw some mashed potatoes or some mixed veggies with it and you are good to go but yeah the meatloaf is so so yummy and it is great because it is a turkey meatloaf so just a little bit healthier and then if you guys haven't tried and we have the chicken ones too but they're little dumplings they're little soup dumplings but we just kind of heat them up and eat them as is they are filled with the broth so the broth is actually inside once you bite into them. They're, they have beef, they have chicken, but they are super yummy and easy to make. Two items. My daughter is absolutely obsessed with these and would probably eat the whole pouch if I let her. 
but she loves their little organic apple and mango pouches. Um, this this um, combo is her absolute favorite, and we have to grab them, grab them every time we go to Trader Joe's. So if you want your kids to, I think it's because because it has that apple base that it tastes so yummy, but the apple and mango pouches are so good. And I know some grown-ups that like to eat these, at, eat these as well. At least this is not a food item, but it is their lavender soap. These are about $3, and I love these because they are so pretty that you can even have them out. Use them in a white porcelain bowl, and then you can sit it out for your family or your guests as instead of doing hand soap, do a little bar of soap, and it looks cute sitting out on your kitchen counter, bathroom, wherever. So I love their little soaps. I know they have about three different um, types, but we love the lavender with flowers and I just love it because you guys know I'm obsessed with this color. But that is it guys. I hope you liked hearing about my Trader Joe's favorites and I guys go out and try some of this stuff like I said it's not just things that we picked up it's stuff that we've used year after year after year I think the newest thing is probably that ravioli but everything else is kind of a tried and true and items that every time we go to Trader Joe's we always have to grab if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one bye guys mm -hmm.